from Hard Intentions YouTube channel. <clears throat> How you guys been? I hope everything's good for us out there in the Hard Intentions family. Um, you know, people ask me about a couple guys, and I responded to one. Um, and so the other person they keep asking me about is this guy, John Grishner, who, once again, people saw in the uh, National Geographic uh, show about prisons, and I did watch it when I was in prison because my friend David Marshall's in it. Uh, they searched the cell, harass him when he's in San Quentin. So that's where I saw the show. Um, you know, David Greshner, whatever his name is, little guy, you know, walks with a cane now, all that shit. Uh, I don't think much of him. He gets on there and talks shit about, you know, we'll get you in the warden's office and kill you, and blah, blah, blah. And in my mind, I'm like, you know, you ain't killing shit. You know, you're a little fuck skinny lame. Uh, and then I saw a thing on YouTube. A guy did a story about him, you know. And, uh, you know, yeah, he was yoked up. He's still a little guy. Little guys get yoked up quick. He's all yoked up. Got quite a few... Acts of violence in federal prison, including a couple murders, at least two. <clears throat> you know, so he was a drug guy, you know. And then, uh, you know, he talked smack about Barry Mills, uh, you know, as a reason why he dropped out and all this other shit. Um, you know, it's always, you know, always better than that guy. You know, my fellow gang member, I was better than him. I should, I don't know, I should have been in his shoes. Or whatever. I don't know, man. But, you know, here's the bottom line. <clears throat> Rest in peace, Barry. Uh, he didn't think that dude would not have the balls to do that. Dude's murders, they read the fucking crime reports, uh, stab wounds in the back on both of them that they read off. They might have read off some other shit, too. Stab wounds in the back. Stab wounds in the back. Yeah, we'll kill you in the warden's office. But the only way you're killing anybody is stabbing them in the fucking back. You know, I mean, that's what he did. He was a backstabbing dude, and that's prison, man. And and uh, <clears throat> I know there's a lot of youngsters that look up to dudes. They're like, oh, man, this motherfucker's a killer. You know, he's, but look at this dude. This guy probably had a lot of youngsters falling in, uh, you know, falling around, trying to get in his pocket and his good favor and all that. Dude's, a, dude's not a stand-up, come to your face and take you down kind of guy. He stabbed dudes in the back. That's how he took them out. To me, that ain't shit. Anyone can walk up behind somebody and stick a hole in their back. You know, chow line. Keeping tally on the handball court, going up for a jump shot. You know, anyone can do that. Uh, you know, I heard stories about TV going into people's cells face up and they they and walking out, and they didn't. So, I mean, there were dudes that would do you from the front, but not very many. And that dude wasn't one of them. He's a little skinny, fucking lame. Yeah, he used to be yoked up when he was young, but so was I. And 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 you know, myself and the dudes I used to run around would have looked at that guy like some fucking lop, like a dude to stay away from. Uh, really, the dude, you know, <laughs> he 
he claims, yeah, he was a money guy and all that. You know, but it, uh, to me, his uh, he tried to escape a bunch of times. He was an escape artist, you know, which I look at all his attempted escapes, his escapes, all the violence, you know, puts him in the hole where he's safe. You know, being in the hole, being in the shoe, you're safe. That's the safest place in the prison system. So to me, this guy's behavior, um, you know, the mentality of gangsters back, you know, was, you know, you never commit a felony without making some money. This dude was just committing felonies, man, for whatever, like raising his hand, like catch me, you know, put me in the hole. Maybe he was doing that shit out of fear. Uh, who knows, man? But it's not normal behavior to run around and stab dudes in the back and kill them, uh, brag about it like you're some fucking whatever. I don't, you know. So what do I think of John Greshner? I don't really think very highly of him. I think he's a fucking turd. Um, I think the dudes that he took down were probably a lot better people than he was. Um, I don't see any fucking remorse or, or any of that shit in his little get down, you know. He's a fucking creep. And he's the kind of guy that you know, my friends and I would have stayed away from. Give a fucking nod to walking by us. It, you know, because you can't trust them. And trust me, there's a lot of people like that in prison system. Um, you have to. <coughs> excuse, <coughs> excuse me. You have to get into the child psychology game with them. You know because they feel like they're super important because maybe on the, out in the world, they weren't about shit. Or maybe when they got when they were kids, they got the shit beat out of them by their dad or whatever the fuck their mental issue is um, that drives them to commit, you know, murder mayhem. Uh, you know, you have to kind of recognize their, their get down and play the child psychology game with them just to keep them out of your fucking business and out of your life. Um, and that's not to say that dudes that whack dudes in prison are all fucking weirdos. Um, you know, we got a homeboy that, uh, story goes like this, you know, he was in debt to another race. Uh, white dudes jumped on him, beat him up, broke his leg. Um, they said it wasn't because he owed money to another race. It was for some other reason. And this dude been down a while. He had double murder. Um, you know, so they broke his leg when his leg recuperated. You know, by then everyone's thinking, no, nah, it's all good. You know, he he took his licking and kept on ticking, you know. And, and uh, one day he walked out to work exchange and uh, he started poking holes in the guy that was a shot caller when that happened. Who's was from San Diego, Sweeney. Uh, and he rode him to the dirt and he stabbed him, stabbed him, stabbed him. And, and um, there were cops saying, shoot him, shoot him. They would shoot him. Um, I think a cop hit him in the back of the head with a fire extinguisher finally. Put him in a coma for a while, you know, for, that's from what I heard. Um, so, I mean, not everybody that whacks somebody in a joint is a psychopath, fucking narcissistic creep. Um, sometimes shit needs to be, you know, whatever it is. People fuck you around in the joint, you know. <laughs> you know, my friend Joe Sides, uh, some guy, you know, disrespected him, socked him up, whatever. You know, he went out to the yard later on, stabbed a dude, stabbed him in the liver. And uh, he told my friend Mick, yeah, man, uh, I just saw green, everything went green. <laughs> you know, dude had a stabbing coming for fucking with Joe. Uh, but, uh, you know, dudes that just run around and, and want to stab and kill people for recognition, um, status, you know, that's not, what's up, buddy? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that dude, uh, Look at that, you're a movie star, buzzer. Yeah, that's not the kind of dude, man. I mean, you want to hang around that dude? Because he's going to have you out doing the same shit. 
catch another life sentence. You know, putting some guy in the dirt for him. You know, misery loves company. And then, you know, who knows? You might be the next one. You know, take, to be taking the dirt now. Hey, hey, you know. <laughs> Come here, that's a computer, silly. Yeah, you could be the next guy taking a dirt nap. One day you're his friend, next day you're not. You know, your people are being told, hey, you know, no Bobby's not here anymore because you befriended some fucking nut that likes to whack people. You know, that's it. That's the answer, the solution to his problems. You know, because he has no other way of dealing with issues that are probably not as, as uh, serious as his, his mind makes him out to be. You know, um, and then after he stabs a, a, a few guys in the back and takes them out, um, you know, he expects you to respect them. You know, I got no respect for that fucking dude. I wouldn't have had any respect for him when he, before he turned rat, and I wouldn't have any respect for him now. You know, uh, in my prime, his prime, I would have stomped the fucking hole in his ass. He's not a tough guy. But with a piece in his hand and your back's facing him and he's got an issue with you, he's a tough guy. And then he can walk around and fuck prison yard and tell everybody how he took you down. That's how it works. Um, that's how it works. And there's no, you know, <clears throat> the guys you're running around with, going to work with, drinking coffee with, smoking weed with, doing all that good shit with, they're your buddies. They're going to forget about you. In a month or so, you won't be spoken of. Some other guy will be the guy doing all the shit you did with him. Just that's just how it is, man. No one's gonna tell him, "Hey, fucking, that was fucked up." You know, they killed my homeboy Gypsy and Folsom. Uh, guy that did it went in a very short time became a fucking rat himself. So why'd you even kill him? <laughs> you know. So this guy did all that shit. And now he's sitting on a PC yard as a fucking rat, deformant. For what? Yeah. So what do I think of John Gresham or whatever his fucking name is? I don't think much of him. And uh, I don't understand the fascination with him. Um, the guy's a piece of shit, backstabbing lame, who puts himself up like some kind of a Superman, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what I think of, dude. You know, really, um, not much. You know, prison is a fucked up place. It's guys like that that make it even more fucked up. Uh, you know, he signed up for something. He didn't finish it. Um, he was in it for all the wrong reasons. Whatever. You guys get out there and do it hard. Just, yeah. Things like that fucking rub me the wrong way. And then get on fucking TV with all that bravado and shit. Yeah, he's a fucking turd. Don't be influenced by turds. Do it hard. Thank you.